Welcome to Sister's Place Entertainment Showcase. Tonight we have joining us Ms. Iris Boiling. Welcome to the showcase. Well, thank you for having me, Latrice. It's wonderful to be here. Great, great. So tell us about the Heart Television Series. Oh, wow. The Heart <laughs> Television Series. <laughs> the Heart Television Series is um, actually in its second season. It is a political drama that is based mm-hmm. on um, my series of novels called The Heart Series. And in this particular drama, we are following the journey of District Attorney J.D. Harrison. Um, and J.D. Harrison is at the basically the beginning of his, his career, and mm-hmm. he decides, because of circumstances in his life, he decides to um, put his head in the ring in politics. And this is the journey. It's a, a six um, episode. It's six seasons, six episodes each season of his <laughs> journey to becoming president of the United States. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, look, this sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have you have no idea. You have no idea. <laughs> it is filled with um, drama, suspense, a lot of romance, because I am a romance author. So mm-hmm. you're going to have a, a lot of romance, and you're going to get to you get to meet J.D. at the same time that he meets his wife, Tracy. You're going to get to meet all the people that J.D. surrounds himself, himself with. Because the thing to keep in mind is once he becomes president of the United States or governor of the state of Virginia or whatever his many paths are going, wait, journeys his path is going to take him, he's going to have people around him that he's going to turn to for advice. And he's mm-hmm. going to turn to for counseling. And so we need to know who those people are, too, because those are the people that's going to influence decisions that he makes that involve the state or the commonwealth and also involves the country once he becomes president. So okay. the journey is one where you not only meet the man, the candidate, but you also get to see how he selects those people who's in his camp, and you get to meet them as well. Okay, okay. So what are some of the attributes about the show that you love bringing to the, to your audience? Well, the first thing that you're going to notice is I have a very, very beautiful cast. Uh, they're beautiful, they're talented, and they are very, very intelligent. I, I love my cast members. They are um, um, very, very easy on the eye. That's number one. <laughs> Um, the men are very handsome. They, I, I love tall, dark, and handsome. Well, mm-hmm. of course, that's what we have. Um, I love beautiful, intelligent women, and of course, we do have those as well. So you're going to get some great eye candy. Um, the series is going to give you um, two things, and I, I kind of like the mix thing, uh, mixed um, things when I do something, any type of project. You're going to learn a little bit about politics. And I think it's important mm-hmm. that we know a little bit about the inside, the ins and outs of the political arena. So you're going to learn a little bit about that, but you're going to learn it in a way where you not you don't know you're learning it. You just you're mm-hmm. seeing it and you're enjoying it, and it's exciting. So you're going to learn a little bit about politics. Um, the other thing is that you're going to learn um, a little bit about relationships, be it man and woman, mother and son. Um, mother and daughter, son, and mother, son, and father. You're going to learn a little bit about relationships and friendships, those bonds that we make early on in life and how we we come to depend so heavily on them. So while you're enjoying enjoying this really sexy political drama, you're going to, you're going to be learning a few lessons along the way and you probably won't even know that you're learning them. You're, you're going to pick up on things. And I love doing that with my work. <laughs> okay. Okay. So without giving away any spoilers, what mm-hmm. can our audience expect with this being the second season? Pure craziness. <laughs> <laughs> Pure craziness. We have this character named David Holt who is playing by Tremaine Norris. 
wonderful mm-hmm. um, actor that we, we were very, very fortunate to have. And then he's going to be going up against a very, very serious um, start not, you know, straight lace, James Brooks, who is played by our star, Mark Vincent. And their mm-hmm. personalities are completely different, but they are both drawn to the same woman who is mm. Ashley Harrison, who is played by the very <laughs> beautiful and talented Erica Simone Lee. Um, and they, have, they, come, they kind of come to a few blows trying to determine, you know, try, each of them are trying to establish their place in Ashley's life. And um, David doesn't do it in a very kind way, and, and not Mark, but James, the character he plays, <laughs> Um, James doesn't take too lightly to some of the things that David is, is trying to do when it comes to Ashley. So you're going to see a lot of craziness, but you're also going to see a lot of love. You're going to see how that relationship that James and Ashley have stand the test of time. You know, you're going to, okay. you're going to see how they work that thing out. But along the way, oh, my <laughs> goodness, it's going, to, it's going to be some drama. Okay. <laughs> so being the, crea- being the creator and producer of the show, how did you choose who played the role of the, of the character? You know how, you know, sometimes you can look at a person, oh, yeah, that's so-and-so. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can. You know, I think um, I was very, very blessed. And I, I'm about to tell you a true story. I, I swear this is exactly how it happened. When you speak with my cast members, if you get a chance to have an interview them, they will tell you, certain ones will tell you the same thing. The, the first thing that um, I did is I wanted to do a book trailer. So I put mm-hmm. out a casting call for J.D. Harrison and Tracy Washington, Ashley um, Harrison and Brian Thompson. Because I just wanted to do a little quick book trailer, but I wanted it to be live. I had this idea in my head that if, James Patterson and Nora Roberts could do live commercials. I could do a live book trailer. So <laughs> I, I, I went out and, and I pulled in for a cast, and I met Morgan Avery McCoy. Morgan is our Tracy Washington. Well, when I, when okay. I met her, she said, you know, I told her, you know, I can't find that JD. I can't just have been able to find that JD. So I had one on and, and settled on a person, and she called me almost the same night. She said, Iris, I have someone I think you should meet for JD. I said, okay, send them my way. So Aaron and walk, Aaron Wiggins, and when I say walk in, I mean literally he knocks on my front door, and Aaron Wiggins walked through the door, and, and myself and my assistant Monica and my niece were here, and we, we just looked at each other. We said, there's JD. We didn't know <laughs> if he could act. We didn't know <laughs> what he could do, but we knew that was J.D., and that is how we met, I met Aaron and Morgan about five years ago when I first went to do a book thriller. Well, the book mm-hmm. thriller idea didn't work out the way that we wanted it to, but it was something about that talent that just drew me to, you know, try to get the, some type of platform to display that talent. So mm-hmm. uh, we decided, I was talking with a, a friend of mine who's in California, uh, for a book event, and a friend of mine, Nakia Smith, is with there, and my other friend, Heather, was sitting around talking. And Nakia said, so what are you going to do with the stuff that you have? So I have no idea. She said, well, maybe you should do a TV show. He said, I said, okay. That was on a Saturday. We came back in town that Sunday, that Tuesday. We had a meeting with the executives of one of the networks, said, hey, this is what we want to do. And they said, Okay. So for, and that was in July. I'm telling you, that was in July. And so then we had to get these people together, right? We needed a camera. Right. We needed a, a, a cam, we needed camera people. We needed, we needed a whole <laughs> lot of stuff. So we then held a casting call. You know, just like they do, we, we, get, we had a place, thanks to Cruz Sherman, a, a friend of mine in this area, and he said, okay, you can use my place. We said, okay. We set up a weekend-long casting Call and most of the characters that you see right now in the, ser- the second series was with us from their very first casting call. So oh, we, had, wow. we, we got Mark Vincent from that casting call, so he was um, still with us, thank goodness for that. And, of course, we still had Aaron, we still had um, Tracy to come in. And then we did the first season, 
we did the first season, and we were able to go in and we determined on the first season, hey, this is something we can do. <coughs> so then we had to, when we got ready to do season number two, we knew we had to find some more talent. Mm-hmm. Um, we have um, Dewan Cheeks, who were actually, was actually one of our characters in season one. But this time mm-hmm. he decided to go behind the um, camera, and he became our assistant um, director this season. And then we, okay. of course, we went and we got another director and we pulled people together. But when you ask me how do we find these people, we literally did a casting call. And we had LaShira Lee on the, um, at the table, Judith Wantley, who's my producer, Nakia mm-hmm. um, Cherie, who was my producer in um, season one. Um, we all sat there and we um, watched as these people came in. And we literally said, mm hmm, that's James Brooks, mm hmm, that's this person, mm hmm, that's this person. And that's, oh, that's, that's, how we, that's how we got them. That's how we got them. Oh, wow, that's amazing. That is mm-hmm. truly amazing. Now, I know today is the, your release day for <laughs> hypnotic. <laughs> yes, and yes. I love yes, the title. You yes. got me there. I'm like, ooh, wee. Okay. Oh, the only thing about hypnotic. Okay. Oh, the only thing I can tell you is, you know, when when um, you're in the club with your girlfriends and everything, and mm-hmm. a man walks through the door, and you turn and you look and you turn to your girlfriends, and all you can say is, yes, 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 <laughs> yes. yes. That's hypnotic. <laughs> he is. He is Adam Lasseter. Um, he is the baby brother to. Um, uh, the Lassiters, Joshua, Samuel, and it's a family that I've been writing about, and this is actually okay. book number six. Okay. And um, it turns out if, if people thought that Samuel, who is the oldest brother, um, is who is this larger-than-life character, he was a Navy SEAL, and he's now one of the men slated to protect the President of the United States. Um, so you okay. had Samuel, and then you have Joshua, who is a CIA agent. And what he does, he just kills people. That's period. He kills people. That's what he gets paid to do. And he's very good at it. And then there, there comes baby Adam, um, mm. who is an intellect. He's a genius. And he, he's so much of a genius that he creates things like on a whim. And these things act literally are used to save countries. It's used to save lives. It's used to help children with obesity problems. So it's a number of different things that um, Adam, it, he just, he thinks of them and they, he creates them. So Adam mm-hmm. is a brainy, brainy kid. And he, at, at the time when you first meet him, he's, he's a pretty shy person. And he's lost because he has these brothers who are larger than life. You know, he mm-hmm. has Samuel, he has Joshua. One of his brothers is a top NFL running back, you know, so he has oh, wow. these brothers who are all larger than life, and he's trying to find his niche. He's trying to find mm-hmm. where he fits um, in this world of these brothers that he has. And it turns out that he is going to, his path is actually going to take him much further than any of his brothers' path. And he mm-hmm. ends up saving a small country in Africa, in addition to saving a few of his, saving his brother's lives. So Adam is a scientist, but he is also um, a very, very dangerous person if you cross him the wrong way. Ooh. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so well, that, is Mr. Mr. <laughs> that, is, that is Mr. Hypnotic. So when you oh, see, wow. see him walk through, it's just one of those things every time I think about um, Adam and his fedora. It, it, I see a scene of ladies sitting in the club and him walking through the door and they just sit there and they just go, oh, yes, that is amazing <laughs> right there. That's what I see. <laughs> oh, my beautiful, God. beautiful. And that, and, that, and that was released today. So that is it available for our audience. Yes, it was released today. Um, that is actually my 18th month. Woo, go ahead. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. So you have a television series. 
Do you plan to do film, big screen? I have 18 novels. One of them is going to be a film. (laughs) Yes. I have plenty of material. Actually, um, I have a series called The Night of Seduction Series. Um, And Mm -hmm. it actually, um, it it dives into the musical world and and behind the stage things that happen in that musical world. And I am actually looking into um, turning Night of Seduction series, which is two books, into um, two different films. And okay. they will actually be probably two DVD, two DVD or streaming films. Um, okay. they, will pro- they will not be television uh, material. It will actually be straight to film. And okay. um, I'm really excited about that because I have, have – a couple of the cast members in mind that I would like to use for that. So I'm very, very excited about um, that pro- that project coming up, um, coming up soon. Coming up soon. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Great. So for all of the aspiring women who want to be a, who want to write for television or film, what advice do you have to offer um, women who want to get into this industry? <clears throat> well, the advice that I would give women would be the advice that I would really give anyone. Um, okay. Have a, a catalog together. You know, have have some material um, ready for um, you to look at to see what would fit what's happening right now. Um, mm-hmm. You know, in the world, um, always be prepared to be successful. You know, don't sit back, wait for someone. You pitch this thing to someone, and they said, you know what, I'm interested. Send me such and such and such, but you don't have such and such ready to mm. send to them. So you always want to be prepared. I, I, used to, I did a lot of training on my, my job before I retired, and one of the things that I would tell people is if you're coming in and you want to be a manager, when you walk in the door as a part-time worker, act like a manager, dress like a manager, walk like a manager, talk like a manager. You know, talk the way and act the way of the role that you want to be in. And if you mm-hmm. want to go in and you want to be successful on doing TV series or you want to write for movies or, you know, whatever, um, you, you walk in those shoes until you make it. I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just walking in the shoes. I haven't made okay. it yet. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> just, people just think that I that I made it there because I'm doing these things. But, you know, mm-hmm. you, you walk in that role. You, you be that role, you know, and, and people are going to see you that way and they're going to respect you that way and they're going to accept your work at that level, whether you're there already or not. So always be uh, prepared to be successful. Always have a catalog sitting and waiting so that you know um, if someone was to approach you and say, hey, I want that night of seduction project. Let me see the script. Here you go. Here's the script. Already have it ready for people. You know, be prepared. Um, And that's that's the advice that I would give people. Okay, that's some great advice. So how can our audience watch the show who don't live in Richmond, Virginia? The show is right now, if we're trying to, we still have some kinks going on with it, but we're trying to air it through YouTube pay-per-view. Um, YouTube um, is the platform that we aired episode one on um, last week when everything um, started here in Richmond and we wanted people to be able to see it all over the world. Mm-hmm. And so we actually put it out there on YouTube um, for free that first, that first night. Um, okay. Afterwards, um, what we're doing now, we're going to be setting up the other episodes to go out there and they're going to be for paid per view because now we have to make the money to pay the cast members and the directors, you know, and all of the people right. that's involved <laughs> in this project. You know, so we have to make the money in order to pay those folks. So they're going to be able to go to my YouTube channel, which is um, Iris Bowling, YouTube um, at irisbowling.com, and they will be able to go out there, subscribe to my channel. And once they subscribe to my channel, they will be able to go out there and watch it through pay-per-view. But even if they don't subscribe to my channel, you know, they will still be able to get it through pay-per-view, but they may not be able to get all the little extra stuff that we put out there 
for people okay. to see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. That is great. So what else is coming down the pipeline for you for the rest of the year? Because you're a busy For the rest woman. of this year? Yes. I think, some, I, think, I think some sleep will be really, really nice. Um, I actually have a couple of things happening. I have a brand new detective series um, that I'm writing, and that is going to be coming out sometime this year. Um, it's the Reigns Detective Chronicles, and it will be under the pen name of Siri Austin. I have another series coming out called The Barrington's, um, and that is about um, a, a family of um, African American. It's an African American family who owns the third largest bank in the world, wow. and the two, the number one and number two banks, are trying to do all that they can to stop this bank from becoming the second largest and possibly being the largest um, bank mm-hmm. in the world. Um, so that's what the Barrington's are about. And then last but not least, of course, I'm going to have um, another Gems and Gents book and possibly possibly another um, Heart Series Friends book that will be coming out. So I kind of have a busy year. Yes, oh, and, do. <laughs> oh, and we're also doing an audio book. I have an audio book, The Pendleton Rule, um, which mm-hmm. will be coming out sometime this year as well. So we're wrapping up the production of that and getting that ready to release also. So it's okay. a pretty, pretty busy year, a pretty busy year. Yes, it is. You are a busy lady. So <laughs> how, can our, <laughs> how can our audience learn more about you and follow you on social media? A couple of places. Of course, I have my website, and that is irisbowling.net, just my name, all one word, .net. So they can find me there. They can also find me, of course, on Facebook under Iris Bowling. They can find me under YouTube under Iris Bowling. They can find me on Twitter. I'm under Siri Austin on Twitter, and I'm also under Siri Austin on Instagram. And then I have, of course, my my company, which is Siri Austin Entertainment. You can Mm -hmm. always find me there. And that um, that website is SiriAustin.com. So there's a okay. couple of ways you can keep in touch with what's going on with me. Oh, well, that sounds good. It oh. was such a pleasure to have you t- tonight. Thank you so much for sitting oh, down with me. thank you. you. I look forward to reading your novels because I'm, I'm, I'm hooked on hypnotic right now. I'm just trying to tie Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, just keep this in mind. Yes, 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 yes. That is, yes. That is the man. Just keep that in <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! This is gonna be good, and I'm looking forward to seeing um the um, the series as well. I oh, did well, caught um the trailer, and I was like, mm, this is this gonna be good. <laughs> yeah, we we got a lot of people hooked on that first episode that was out there, you know, and mm-hmm. and that's exciting to hear people talk about just how much they. Um, enjoyed um, that episode and how, you know, they hadn't read the series and they said, oh, wait a minute, we're going to have to go read the series now. You know, right. so, yeah, so a huge thank you to the cast and the crew members. They did a wonderful, wonderful job on bringing it all together. Well, absolutely, well, that is great. And I did share the trailer on my um, Facebook uh, fan page. For oh, thank you. Thank you so much yes. for doing that. Thank you. I'm like, oh, come on, guys, let's, let's, let's support. I support my brothers and sisters doing great things, especially doing film and television um, oh, in the black you. community. So thank you. you will be hearing more from me, and I'll, I will.